The Scent of the Damned, Cedar Steel Mill, 1980. You entered the old admin building. Why did I do that? Oh yeah, I forgot that I'm with her. Phoebus. Where is everyone? Uh-huh. A very, very good question. Dog, why the fuck is it so fucking quiet? <laughs> Jesus. Well, shit. Maybe if I had a fucking key. Hi, buddy. Maybe if I had a fucking key. Something to break it. Right, buddy? Samantha. Samantha. I don't know if that's a Samantha or not, actually. Man, why? Look. If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. I guess. Gotta be around here someplace. Needs a fucking part. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. That's my only way out. Well, duh. Where? This part's... Hmm. Pair of pliers. Oh, needs a part. Got it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to walk through here, maybe? Surely there's a way to the other side, she says. Ah. Always need one of these. It's a key. I think the only time there was like a legitimate jump scare. I mean, there's only been like a few legitimate jump scares in these games, so I don't know. My heart's kind of racing every time I crawl through those spaces, though. Just because I expect it. Is there something to be picked up back there? My darling Frank Norman, it upsets me Whoever's when you don't write back. This was had some serious issues. You aren't sick, you needn't be withdrawn with me. Tell me everything, my dear. You know whatever happens, I'll always be here for you. Nothing in all the world could ever stop me loving you. I will always be in your life. Three weeks ago, you told me making friends was hard. I can sympathize, my love. Precious few are ever worth making. Every time they open their mouths, all you can feel is insects crawling under your skin. Every vapid look forces you to nod and smile and pretend. We're listening to what they say. You're too important to be wasted on them, and one day you'll find that place I've always told you about, where you can truly appreciate how much smaller they've always been. Until then, we endure, but you do not become. Write back to me soon, Norman. I know you won't leave your ma waiting too long to hear from her only grandson again. I will always watch you. Love, Ma. 
Sick, dude. There's no part in there. Fucking dope. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> there's absolutely no way there's the, the parts aren't in that room. You're gonna send me all the way back? No. I wouldn't think so. This is more based on like the game. Like certain games, obviously, yeah, they send you back, but this one I would not expect them to like, send me back that far. It's not even like far, it's just, you know, I would assume there's something. <laughs> Maybe? Ah. You're coming with me, buddy. Yep, buddy. Yeah. You're coming with me. All right. Okay, I guess this is a way to like kind of disrupt the hey, if they die, I I kind of get it now. If they die, you know, you can just say, "Ooh, they're an alternate version of themselves," I guess, you know? That sounds promising. Pretty promising. I'm promised. Ciao. Find the way back to the other. Whoa, 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 Linda. Can't be doing that to me. Now. Why are we down here? Why did we go down here again? I'm confused. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been a week. I've had a lot more on my mind <laughs> than just this dumb game. So I can't I can't fully remember what I'm supposed to be. But Or why I got down here. This fucking dark. <laughs> Jesus. What's this? Huh. Wait, no, 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 no. Pick that back up. Oh, no! Merlin. It's... Oh. Bad dog. Found Merlin's collar. Oh, no, poor Merlin. God. If I ever get out of this maze, I'm gonna take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. I get it, dude. See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just live a little. I get it, bud. <laughs> I fucking get it, dude. This sucks. Not fun, is it? Sweet Jesus. Sweet bananas. Dude. Barely breathe. Please don't panic. I ca I can't not panic. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Stop giving me the false sense of security. I hate it. I think I hate that more. <laughs> Dumb false sense of security. Bomb burgers. Yeah, dude, where the fuck are these? Man? I'm just missing them completely. I feel really bad about that. I mean, I can't, like, do anything about it. <laughs> Door. Huh. Looks like an opening. 
Oh, but. <laughs> okay. Ew. No sounds. That's Frank Stones. Let's open. Ugh, I hated that those squishy Fuck. sounds. That's a lot to read. This is Frank Stone's journal. Damn right it is. November twelfth, nineteen sixty-two. I've not heard from her. I did, as, I did as instructed, but for weeks I have been left alone. Have I failed? Did I not perform my purpose as I was told? Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Every night I dream of the forest, of the darkness all around me. I'm afraid, too scared to move forward or cry out because it stands beyond the fog. Sometimes I can see their shapeless forms within the, with writh writhing in the flames like snakes. The hiss of their screams burn my ears. If they are evil, why do they scream? How am I to know evil alone? How can I be sure all of Cedar Hills has not been lost to sin? Should I not just destroy them all, purge the town completely? I will not act without instructions. I stand alone in the forest, waiting to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. I will wait. January 8th, 1963. Finally, she has come back to me and she is happy. I have well exceeded her expectations. She says she has found the root of evil, the source of the rot that is eaten at the town. I sit beneath its very foundations. Howard Tester is the uh, leader of a wicked coven. From him, the branches of evil stretch out and infect everything. But he's beyond my righteous judgment. Although he rots in a pit of hell, his spawn still lingers here. DP, BK, LR, JR. Four names, four more trials that I must conquer. She tells me not to rush. I cannot make a mistake. I will not fail. I will use the very fires that Tester birthed to carry out my task. I will turn his creation into the thing that destroys his legacy. I will purify it as I will this town. Man and beast, metal and flesh, bound by fire. Then I will reach the other side and see what it is to be eternal, to be divine. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear and the fire awaits me. I will not be afraid. Can we turn the page again? Nope. Okay. Well, okay. Frank Stone's a fucking... Can write, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Frank Stone can write his ass off, so good on him. Oh, my. That's horrifying. This place is so fucked. Oh, I thought they were gonna get me. All right. Uh, I, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. The last time anybody saw me was February 16th, 1963. I'd spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty, Daryl, and a few other guys down at Cedar Creek. By the time it started getting dark, I was pretty wasted, and when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt, I, kinda, I got kind of mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Brother, have I paid for it. Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guys. Guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but when I woke up, this guy was there. A big, tall guy. It was real dark, but I could still see him staring at me. Cold, mean eyes. Looking right through me. Holy mother of pearl. I think I'm this underground. Is, this is awful. I hear noises above me. It sounds like machines, like a factory or something. I might be in the mill. I've seen the guy a few times, those damn eyes staring at me. I hear him whispering stuff, but I don't know what he's saying. I think he's going to kill me. So scared, Mom. I wish I could see you again. I wasn't the greatest son, but you were always there for me. I couldn't have asked for a better mom. Maybe you're better off without me. I don't know. If you ever read this letter, tell Rusty I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. I was acting like a jackass. Same as always. Just know I'm sorry. For everything. I love you. Dwight A. Parker. Dwight fucking Parker, buddy. Oh, it's cute. It's the doctor. Brilliant mind, the broken psyche. Cute. All right, I'm getting out of here. Horrifying. Can we get out of here. Oh, back where I started. 
Yeah, dog. Okay, then. What do you mean? What do you mean you're what do you mean you're are you like fucking shocked? That you're back where you started? I could have told you that, homie. <sighs> Horrifying. That was actually kind of cool. I enjoyed that a lot. The House of Madness. Yep, we got Chris. Oh my. Thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, I I can uh Are you okay? I can follow you. Yeah, I usually just stream Tuesdays. Every Tuesday. And just sometimes in between, but usually just Tuesdays, Tuesday mornings. Confused. Of course she's going to be confused. What do you mean? Your mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Uh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? Oh, no. Not good. Oh, Stan. Pants. Oh my god, there's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me. What the hell is going on here? Some 13 ghost type shit. Let's go. After I lost you, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know! Stan! You don't want to be here. Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? Uh, don't make me go back. Please, no! Don't make me go back! Even if I go back there, it'll kill me! Hey, it's okay. Nobody's making you do anything. But, uh, right now, it's not so safe here either. We should go. We appreciate Maddie's support. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Are we Chris? Oh yeah, we're Chris. Duh. Uh, we gotta go find Linda. Chug a lug in a little bit. Do you know Linda? Linda Castle? Ah, uh, I get it now. You're a diehard, huh? You follow her here? Follow her? No, we came here together. Sure you did. Where is she? I need to see her. Look, I don't usually like to get involved in any weirdo stalkery kind of shit, but could be persuaded to make introduction. Price is right. Whoa! Oh! oh. 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 My god dude i'm so sorry that was so funny holy shit oh my god that was fucking hilarious <laughs> dude Woo. my bad all paths must cross cedar steel mill 1980 Oh, she's got the camera again. Oops. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Linda! Bonnie. Bonnie. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're all gonna die here. There's no way to escape. I'm so sorry. 
Bonnie, I'm so sorry. He's... He's me, hermanito, and he's gone. Are, are you... I'm okay. Ooh, man. <laughs> I'm okay. That was How are you fucked. so calm right now? That was so fucked. I'm not. But I know that the only way we're gonna get through this is if we can just keep it together. Just for a little while. What is that thing out there? No idea. But I know it's bad news. And we gotta get as far away from it as possible. Great idea. So how the fuck do we do that? There's the storm drain. We could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. Uh oh. It's coming. Hmm. Closing the noose. I don't see anything. It's so weird. Are you? Okay? We fled. Dog, that was funny. Uh, I'm, I'm so a oh. less uh, swimmy, but that guy oh. just died right in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> was he your friend? I didn't know him very well, and he was kind of a pain in the butt, but he seemed okay. He didn't deserve that. No. No one deserves that. Oh, no, he did. But it was funny. I think that was, like, perfect. What? If you're feeling a little better, maybe you can tell me about where you came from. What you can remember. Maybe it can help. Wait, you said Linda was here? Linda Castle? Yeah, she is. We've got to find her, please. She's my friend. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go look for Linda. Let's go look for Linder. So, uh, is Linda looking for me? I don't think she knows you're here. At least, she didn't mention it. Oh, but I, I was just with her. You were? I... I thought I was. I, I don't... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like... Wow, an actual normal room. I'll be damned. I thought I was. I, I don't know. I... Keepsakes of past victims, which can be okay. protected. Don't worry about it right now. For those who bear them. Wait, wait. I, I know this. D this was. No, no, I can't. Can't what? This belonged to one of Frank Stone's victims. Frank Stone, the killer, from the mill. But what is it doing here? I've seen it, too. There was a book here that explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... So, hmm. should, like, one of us wear it for protection? Um... Yeah, you should take it. Whatever. You should take it. You've already been through enough. Uh, oh well, I don't know, dude. I, I thought I was. I, I don't know. It, it's all kind of broken up in my head. Hey, don't worry about it right now. Let's just keep moving. The key. I if the pin, the pendant might have been a key. Looks boring. The history of Lowe's Still, and other hundreds. The etymology of cover. East England. Have you ever wondered why Bedfordshire Bedfordshire is called Bedfordshire or Bedfordshire? Question the meaning of Chawl End? Or simply confused about why Woodbridge doesn't have a wooden bridge? Dr. Dollart may have the answers. A historian specializing in the east of England, John D. Dollart, literally wrote the book on the history of the nation's towns with his door-stopping encyclopedia of East England. Now with the etymology of East England, the history of Lowe's and other hundreds, he returns to the region to unravel the history of its towns and the complex webs of beliefs and conflicts that gave them their names. Sick, dude. Hidden meanings. Let's go. 
The changing nature of language often results in a lack of modern consensus on the etymology of certain place names. Even those that seem patently obvious may be hiding a myriad of meanings. For example, there is an East Anglian town named Woodbridge that historians doubt ever had a literal wooden bridge. Even if it had, such a thing is unlikely to have been considered a noteworthy innovation given the town's layout and the technology of its oldest recorded settlements. Key. Hello. Now that's not boring. Blood may be that which binds us to this world, for upon the spilling of li his life's blood shall a man find himself moving into the next. Why then, if a soul may naturally move from, from one reality into a higher one by the shedding of this blood, we'd be surprised to learn such a shedding may draw the gaze of that higher reality. We might therefore conclude it is simply the act of taking life, not any passage of our souls that bring these worlds together. In so doing, we might form our own gates between these worlds and the other, and in doing so, perchance, move through them while we yet live. Oh, what wisdom we might glean from the worlds of the ancients! What knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away! How to return is another matter, if the death of our own. Should've done that in English accent, huh? I need that key that fell on the floor. I need that fucking key that fell on the floor, buddy. Blood sacrifices made to elder gods will open a path up a path to their realm. Found a fucking key, buddy. Hell yeah. Let's go, dude. Yeah, Whoa. sure. A secret passage. Why not? Yeah, fuck it, dude. Why not? Let's go. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Hi there, ho oh there, how do you do? Damn it, press. This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court mandated psychological session five with patient Frank Stone. March 28th, 1961. March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's Augustine. But 1961? An that's over orderly. 60 years ago. Oh my. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling. This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others to punish them, I don't believe it is wholly errant. These sessions are all about taking responsibility, Frank. Not just for your past, but for your future, too. Yes, you have. And murder. Kind of. You simply have to trust me. And that's what he wrote in the uh, thingy, my bobber. Oh goodness, <laughs> dude! I still haven't found another one. Wild. Give me. Oh. Give me. Oh, that thing is ugly. Creepy. The twins. The bond emboldened by hatred. Ugh. Alright. All right. Ain't gonna do that shit. Oh, sacrificial knife. Struggling against the darkness, I feel its hooks pulling me deeper into the abyss. Nice, dude. Same. Alright, I think we found stuff. Sick. Do we find what do we find? What have we found? What do we find? What do we find? What do we found? Nice dude, we got like three more. Shut up. Dude, me and Linda are fucking tight, buddy. We're, we haven't talked to Sam that much, but me and Linda are fucking mm.
I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> I'm not Sam. Uh, Stan. What the fuck is this? You need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! Where's Stan? He's dead. He's dead. What? Ah, that fucking moron. How can you say that? He was a person and he's dead. Yes. He is a fucking we moron. I'll tell though. you something about how serious this situation really is. I'm the For fucking moron. Us. Stan tried to I didn't press Stan. the X quick enough. And now he's dead. For all I know, you're responsible. Believe me, I didn't like that man, but I'm not inclined to believe Sam a word and Linda are about say. to be in for a fucking You are not Sam Green. You are not from Cedar Hills. Sam and Linda are about to have a fucking field day. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Um... Can't prove any of this? You can't prove any of this. You're just not giving us any sort of concrete evidence or answers. Yeah. Just doubt. Yeah. It's a complex situation. Augustine made it very simple. Give her the film, she helps us. And that doesn't make you suspicious? Yeah, it does. But I don't trust you either. Linda? Linda! What happened? We were in the mill and... What? You're so old! Oh boy. This, uh... This kind of thing... It, it can happen. Sometimes. Oh, we getting some, uh... Explanation here? Christine Golden Picture. That's is Chris. This the movie you made? Yeah. It is. Violet now? Technically, I'm the director. Chris was present at the screening. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. What's so important about these film strips? How can we be sure that he's not just trying to take them for himself? We can't, but I guess we have to take that chance. Take the chance a little faster, please. Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Kate Blanchett took it. What happened to Stan's piece? Did, did any of you see it? What happened to it? It must still be in his pocket, on his body. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I just don't know. Augustine's pulling a lot of strings here. She's been a million miles ahead of us. Hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? Why is she making us watch the film? Because we're going to get violent. I would assume, right? That's what happens. 